Our location is pretty unique in the aspect that we also are a Class A trout hatchery. So one half the property is uh, pretty much devoted to the trout hatchery and the other half is for the vineyard. When we purchased the property, we bought it because we had horses. And the horses got older and died and we had five acres of horse pasture that we were wondering what we were going to do with it. And Steve had been making wine for a number of years. His mom and grandma made wine while he was growing up. And we thought, well, I wonder if we could grow grapes. We've settled on about 12 different varieties now that really like our property. The type of wine that you're going to make off of those grapes is really determined on your location and the characteristics that the grapes are going to take up from your soil. One of them is our Niagara, and that is a cold hardy white grape. Um, we were really happy with the wine that we received off of that. We had not had a sweet white in our line at that time and it's been a huge seller. Our Bobordo Vino Nuevo, which is our version of a ruby port. It's a fortified wine and it's made from our Autumn Rouge Reserve wine, which is an estate wine. So this is an estate port made from grapes that we're growing right on the property. Our tours include the winery building itself and the whole production facility, our commercial kitchen, and then also our trout hatchery. We've got 13 different ponds and raceways on the property and we have four of them that are immediately behind the hatchery building and then our big grow out pond behind me. The fish that we process for the restaurants and use for stocking are kept in these raceways that are close up. We use swans for aquatic weed control. They're the only things that will naturally get rid of cattails and they eat all the algae off the pond, so they are a big help to us and we just love the look of them. They're very beautiful birds.